Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Doctor Strange issue 25. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this issue. I didn't know how, like, the kind of like a newer creative team would kind of be transitioning forward, but I really liked how this issue kind of like started it off because it's half a tale in present day and half a tale in an old school kind of Doctor Strange adventure kind of way, and it did a really good job of keeping the art style kind of reminiscent to what we've been seeing in the present day, and having the art style of like the older kind of Doctor Strange adventures, and it just works out really well. So we start off and we see the Doctor having breakfast with Zelma, and of course she's got to eat the disgusting stuff that the Doctor eats as well, and of course they're kind of reminiscent and like talking about that kind of stuff and then out of nowhere Zelma kind of transforms and it starts attacking the doctor and he's like what's going on here what trying to think through what's going what could have gone on with her if she's like possessed by a malevolent force or whatnot so he gets out the sanctum sanctorum and the rest of the community is also transformed into monsters he's like why is this so familiar to me so then we get back to the past and we see the same thing kind of happening He's meditating, something draws him out of his meditations, he goes downstairs, talks with Miss Clea and Wong, thinks something's kind of weird, and then he gets attacked by him, and they turn into monsters as well as those around him. He's like, what's going on here? And of course, it really parallels what's going on in present day. So he's like, okay, I've got limitations on me since my magic's not back, I usually have to use artifacts imbued with it, but I've got an axe right now, and I don't want to hurt anybody. And seeing him kind of have to try and like, either take hits or use stop signs or whatnot to like stop Zelma is really kind of cool to show how he has to think with his battle tactics now uh, with real people because we've been seeing him kind of having to do the same things with his villains but in this he's got to like really be careful because he doesn't want to hurt anybody so of course he's figuring out what's kind of going on trying to get through it and we see that in the past he found this citadel like and he's like, okay, what's going on with this? As in the present day, he's led to a psychiatric hospital. So it takes war form in the back, in the present, in the past, and we find out it's this like haunted girl. And Stephen's like trying to deal with it because everything else he had been using, even in the past, wasn't really working. And this girl says that she is like all power. She is all things and she's very strong. And Dr. Strange was able to figure out that there was a kind of entity kind of latching onto her and giving her this power. And she was using fears and television monsters and transforming those people around in the whole community into these monsters with like ectoplasm kind of stuff. And I'm like, holy crap, so what's he trying to do? Because he's starts kind of remembering and everything. And he's like, oh God, what's going on? And in the present, we find the haunted girl again with her powers back and it's like huh it's weird she kind of appears right when he kind of remembers her because he got hit with a mystic bolt and he's like that's kind of weird it wasn't aimed to kill and of course she's pissed off at him because she took and taken her he took her powers from her she was like yeah of course i was a child i wasn't in control but you didn't have the right to take that from me and of course then he starts remembering and everything that he was trying to use his memory to kind of get this entity to latch onto him. Like, seeing all these things, these mystic things, like Dormammu fighting Eternity, and using his hands when he'd gotten in the accident that had destroyed his hands and everything. And, of course, then using the memory of the girl, and then kind of, like, blinking that memory out. So much so that he completely forgot about the encounter, and we even see back in the past that the girl was okay, and even Miss Clea had asked about her, but the doctor completely forgot about her. And then we get into the present, he's like, you know what? I'm going to do something that the old me never would do. I'm sorry, it was wrong of me to do this to you. My, In your eyes, my cure was worse than the disease because she had gone into that. She went into a psychiatric hospital because nobody believed her. Everybody thought she was crazy. And he's like, listen, I understand now. I, I've been greatly diminished in my magic and everything. It was wrong of me to do that. And her going, well, yeah, and being kind of like, and not being truly resolved right away was kind of cool. She's like, okay, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to figure out better ways, a uh, better way to use these memories and everything. He had even offered to help her. I've got an apprentice kind of apprentice her to him. 
And she had also brought up that she could have been the next Sorcerer Supreme, which is interesting because she, the level of abilities that she was using was very powerful. So she's like, no. I've only had these back for about an hour. I'm going to go do what I'm going to do. I don't think that she will be in his robes gallery, but I think that they're going to be at least uneasy allies if anything gets so big that they need to join forces. It's really an interesting kind of character to introduce with all the other ones like Mr. Misery and all that back kind of into Steven's wheelhouse, and I'm really interested to see what they do with her. So, of course, it ends with her kind of like leaving off, and we see Zombo waking up, and she's like, okay, I'm in a psychiatric hospital. Uh, what's going on? My jaw hurts. It's like, it's okay. Uh, we were just reminiscing. Let's kind of like get out of here. It was a nice kind of self-contained adventure, and I really like how it fleshed out the old Doctor Strange and his current condition, how you wouldn't think the old Doctor Strange, the old Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange, would as readily admit to a mistake as the one nowadays because he has seen the consequences of his actions and actually come to terms with that and actually apologizing to someone was really kind of a cool character moment, just seeing him kind of like go forward and then of course seeing him actually be like, you know what, how can I make this up to you? That's a big character development for Doctor Strange. And I'm interested to see what other kind of moments will be kind of going on further as we go into the arc. So, those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.